Well, maybe you were among those who got up early this morning to join others in the Northwest taking a peek at the solar eclipse. It's when the moon blocks out the sun. It wasn't a total eclipse and there was a lot of clouds, but our Coin 6 meteorologist Josh Kozarth was able to capture the moment. Take a look. The highly anticipated annular solar eclipse was not completely eclipsed by the widespread cloud coverage early Saturday morning. However, it did pretty much render these special safety glasses useless. The only way you could really see this eclipse was through a camera lens. I was lucky enough to see the clouds part ways as the peak of the eclipse moved through downtown Portland. The 86% coverage of the sun only lasted a few minutes before clouds eclipsed the eclipse once more. Now, nobody across the planet this go around saw the sun completely covered, like what we did back in 2017. This was an annular eclipse, not a total eclipse. And that all comes down to the distance the moon is from the Earth as the sun casts its shadow upon our landscape. And the frequency in eclipse we've seen here in the Pacific Northwest is rare. Jim Todd, OMSI's Director of Space Science Education, explains. It's pretty rare, though, that we have a totality from 2017, and now we have the angler coming up in 2023. That's pretty rare. Then, yeah, we have another partial coming up uh, next year. So if you didn't get a chance to see it for yourself, I hope you can enjoy my camera's view of this year's solar eclipse. That was great. Yeah. Josh really has us covered for those sure of does. us who may have slept in or didn't get a chance to like see me. it. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at the back of my eyelids. Uh, hey, but I, like Lisa and I were just talking about, next big full total solar eclipse, not an annular, is going to go right across from Texas out through New York. It's on April 8th of next year. So get ready to uh, put in some time off at work and get down there. Okay, that's a, that's sounds my, good.